Welcome back internet. In today's video we're going to be working on zipper from hack the box so let's get started. We're going to run our nmap scan with dash sc for default scripts, sv for enumerate versions, 10 10 10 108. I've already ran it so let's view those results. We can see port 22 and port 80 are open. 22 seems to be fairly recent so let's enumerate port 80. We're going to go 10 10 10 108. And we get the Apache default page. Let's try something like robots.txt. And we get nothing. So let's run our content discovery tool. I'm gonna use their search, pass in dash u for URL, 101008. Pass in dash w for word list. I'm gonna pass in user, share, word list, dirbuster, directory list 2.3 dash medium. And their search requires extensions. So I'm gonna pass in HTML and PHP. I've already ran this, so let's view the results. And we can see Zabbix, so let's navigate to that now. Zabbix. Let's try admin. Admin. No good. So at this point, let's find out what Zabbix actually is. And we can see that Zabbix is an open source monitoring software tool for diverse IT components, including network servers, virtual machines, and cloud services. Zabbix provides monitoring metrics, among other network utilization, CPU load, and disk space consumption. We did see a help link here. Let's click on that. We are greeted with the documentation. At this point, I suggest you go through it. But without further ado, I also saw sign in as guest. We'll click on that. Um, I'm gonna click around, see if I can find anything useful. On overview, we can see Zapper's backup script. Zapper is probably a username, so let's try to log in as Zapper. Zapper, Zapper. And we get a new error message, GUI access disabled. That is interesting, because before it said, what did it say? It said login name or password is incorrect. Let's check out the documentation. There's an API. And if we really wanted to, we can write a Python script. We can use curl. But handy dandy Google to the rescue. We scroll down, we see zabbix.org. The official website says zabbix.com. Let's click on zabbix.org. We get a wiki page. We scroll down, what do we see? Zabbix CLI tools. Let's click on that. Scroll down. And there's various tools we can use. This is written in Go. If you prefer to use that, go ahead. I ended up using Zabbix CLI, which is written in Python. I'll go through the ins installation instructions real quick. I'm, you're gonna click on docs. Scroll down to manual.rst. And you might need to install some Python dependencies. You need request, IP address, setup tools, and docutils. To actually install it, you're just gonna run git clone and this URL, cd into that folder, run setup.py install. Once you've got that installed, you can just run zabbix.cli. We're gonna pass in the username. We know it's zapper, password is zapper. We're greeted with a help screen, so we'll click on that. We see different functions we can perform. Let's try show users. And we see that we have super admin privileges, but we're part of the user group, no access to the front end. Let's try to modify that. We see add user to user group. I must highlight this, right click copy, and paste that command in. I got some extra garbage. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that now. Hit enter. The username is gonna be Zapper. And we wanna add him to the Zabbix administrators. Right click copy, paste that in. Oh, it got it picked up that garbage again. Let's rerun that. Pass in Zapper. Fix up the user group. Hit enter. And now let's show users again. 
We can see we're part of the Zabbix administrators, but we want to get rid of this no access to the front end. So let's see if there's a command to help us with that. Remove user from user groups. Highlight. Highlight. Right click. Copy. Scroll down. Paste that in. Delete the extra garbage. Hit enter. Username is a zapper. We want to get rid of this here. Right click copy, paste that in, delete the extra garbage, hit enter, show users. This looks pretty good. Let's see if we have access to that web uh, portal now. Zapper, zapper. Awesome. By now, I assume you've read the documentation. We scroll down into, where are we going? We see this script here, script object. Let's click on that. The whole point is we can run scripts. I'll let you read that at your leisure. Click on administration, click on scripts. We're gonna click on create a script, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it reverse shell. At this point, we need a command to run. I'm gonna quit this. I'm gonna use rs-l for language. Originally, I tried Netcat. Netcat did not work. It's using that stupid BSD one or whatever it is. Tried that command, did not work. Uh, so Perl ended up working. So we're gonna pass in Perl. The interface is tune zero. And the port we wanna listen to is gonna be over 9,000. This is the command I'm using. Go ahead and copy it from Pentest Monkey, or I'll leave a link down to this tool below. Uh, paste it in. Scroll down, leave the default, click on add. Now let's run a netcat listener. We're gonna pass in dash nlvp 9001. Click on monitoring, latest data. Close this little error. We're gonna click on select. Zabbix servers, click select. Hit filter. We see it pop up, click on Zabbix, click on reverse shell. We get an error. How great is that? Close that out, click on select, click on the Epic server, Linux servers, select. On host, click on that, click on everything, hit select, hit filter. And let's try this again. Reverse shell. Let's click on our, what do we see? We've got a shell so let's get python going let's find out if python is even running which python no dice which python 3 that's here so let's run python 3 dash c import pty semicolon pty dot spawn uh bin bin bash close that off terminator command hit enter Let's run who am I? We're running as Zabbix. What directory are we in? We're in the root directory. Let's cd into home. Run ls, cd into zapper. So we're not running as a user yet. Let's see if there's anything we can use. We see .ssh here and this utils folder. cd into utils, run ls. We see a backup.sh and a Zabbix service. Let's cat the content of backup.sh. We see it's running 7zip-p. This is a password here, zippity doo -da. So we're gonna right click, copy that. We'll switch to zapper, paste that password in. Ah, uh, picked up garbage again. Not sure why it's doing that, so I'm just gonna type it in manually. Switch user to zapper. Password is zip bitty do da. Oh, I forgot the Z. One more time. Third time's a charm. Switch user to zapper. Password is zip bitty do da. Who am I? I'm running at Zapper, run an LS. 
Uh, so at this point, we can get the user.txt file. Awesome. We did see that um, .ssh directory, cd into that, ls-la. And we have a private key. Let's view that, id rsa. We're going to copy it, get ourselves a, an actual shell. Copy, split this. I'm going to name it mousepad zapper.key. Paste it in. Get rid of this extra garbage up here. Save. Uh, we're going to change mod uh, 600 zapper.key ssh dash i zapper and zapper at 10 10 10 108. We're in, so we can get rid of this reverse shell. Whoops. Did that get out? No. Exit one more time. Awesome. Close that out. Let's go back into that utils folder. LS. We're going to run Altrace on Zabbix service. We can see set UID, set GID, print, start or stop. We're going to run stop. And we see a call to system CTL. At this point, we can uh, run a path interception attack. We would do that by running V system CTL. And then hit I to insert commands. We're going to put uh, the shebang bin bash. Hit enter, we're gonna run bash, hit escape, uh, semicolon, wq, ls, change the permissions on that. We're gonna write execute permissions, run ls. Now we're gonna modify the path, export path equals, that's the back tick. We're gonna pass in present working directory and then tack on the path. We're gonna run echo money sign path and we can see home zapper utils so let's run zabbix service start and we've got root who am i we're running as root cd into the root directory word count root.txt dash c there you have it, folks. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos, and peace out.